So hi friends, this is Amit and you are watching my channel Information and Educational Video. So in this video, I will talk about JOSA Counseling 2021 as you all know the round 2 cutoff is announced. So here I will try to provide you the complete cutoff analysis is what you can expect up to the 6th round that is, that is rank versus expected NITs up to 6th round. I have already provided you the rank versus expected IIT for up to the 6th round yesterday. You can check that video in the i button as well as in the description box. So now I am providing you the video for the NITs and, and very soon I will try to provide you the video for triple IT and GFTI also and I will also provide you a special video for all the PWD candidate that will contain all type of college that is NIT, triple IT, GFTI and IITs as well. So please try to watch this video till the end so that you will get the complete information and if you are first to my channel please try to subscribe this channel and here i will consider all type of category that is general ews obc scst male female both type of cutoff i will discuss here and uh, i will consider all type of branch that is csc ec and other lower branches also such as mechanical chemical biotechnology I will consider all type of college that is top 5, top 10 and lower NITs as well. That is the top 10 average and lower NITs. So it's my humble request. If you are first to my channel, please try to subscribe to this channel. And one more thing, if you need counseling guidance for this DOSA counseling, it is what to choose, what not to choose or you want counseling guidance for CSAB round that will happen after the, after the DOSA counseling. So you can contact me through Instagram or WhatsApp number because counseling guidance needs a detailed discussion and it is possible only when you contact me separately because different students have different type of rank and different type of personal interests. So it needs a detailed discussion. So once you contact me, I will try to discuss everything so that you can get into the right college and right branch so that you won't have to regret later after joining a wrong college. So here is the rank versus expected and IT up to the sixth round. So please try to listen my word carefully because I will tell some uh, I will tell you some important point also regarding the expected cutoff. But one thing I would like to tell you before starting this video that is this year the cutoff for CS later branch has gone down and, and the cutoff for other branches has gone up. That is the, that is the demand for CS related branch is high now. So that's why the cutoff for CS related branch is low as compared to the previous year that also I will consider in this video so that you can estimate yourself which type of college with, uh, with which branch you are going to get up to the 6th round but whatever the cutoff I will provide in this video that will be applicable only if you have done the counseling carefully because I know so many students who have already done the mistake in the choice filling and choice arrangement so once you do that type of mistake you are not going to get the best out of your rank whatever so, is best possible for you I am providing in this video so please try to watch the video till the end so here is the first one that is uh, if you are looking for top 10 NIT with CS branch and you are from general category then your ranks would be 8000 and 11000 for male and female candidate and for EWS it will be 1.1 1 .1 and 2.2 thousand and for OBC 3 and 5.5 thousand for SC 1.8 and 2.5 thousand for ST 6, 600 and 800 if your rank is a little bit higher than the, uh, that is 10 rank or 50 or even 100 rank then you can expect that college but not so much higher than that because no one will leave the CS branch in a top 10 NIT or any NIT because CS branch is most demandable nowadays. So next if you talk about top 10 NIT with EC branch then for general candidate the cutoff will be around 14 and 19,000 for male and female and for EWS it will be 2 and 4,000 for OBC 5 and 8,000 for SC 3 and 4,000 for ST it will be 1.1 and 1.6 thousand. So one more time I would like to inform you that if you have done any mistake in the JOSA counseling now nothing can be done but, but you can correct your mistake in the CSEP counseling there also you, you will have the good opportunity if your rank is high that is 40,000, 50,000 or 1 lakh or even more than that if you are from uh, reserve category because in CSEP round there is no fixed cutoff you can get the college at any rank so i will advise you take the help of any experienced person if you don't have i am here to help you once you register with me i will guide you for everything whether you are doing csf counseling or any other counseling across india that is jack delhi jack chandigarh or mstct comet k kct all type of counseling i will guide you once you register with me so if you want you can contact me through instagram or whatsapp number available in the description box so next if you talk about top 10 NIT with any possible branch so before going forward for this video I would like to inform you that top 10 NIT have more number of branch that's why if you are looking for any branches then the cutoff will go so much higher that is up to 45 and 50 thousands also you will get if you are general candidate and for EWS it will be 8 and 10 thousand for OBC 16 and 21 thousand for SC it is 7.5 and 10 thousand for ST 4 and 6 thousand. So next if you talk about top 20 NIT with CSC branch then your general ranks will be 15 and 20,000 EWS it should be 2.5 and 4,000 for OBC it will be around 4.5 and 10,000 
for SC it will be around 2.5 and 4,000 and ST 1.5 and 2.5 thousand for male and female. So one more thing I would like to tell you that I am just providing you the expected cut for other state student, not the home state student. Because if you are from home state, you can get the uh, get that branch or that college at very high rank as well. So next, if you talk about top 20 NIT with EC branch, then the cutoff for general will be 22 and 30,000 for EWS 3.5 and 8,000 for OBC 6 and 12,000 for SC 4.5 and 7,000 for ST it will be 2.5 and 4,000. So next, if you talk about top 20 NIT with any possible branches, then your rank should be 50 and 55,000 for general candidate for EWS 11 and 15 and OBC 20 and 25 and for SC 11 and 13 and for ST it will be 5 and 8,000. So next if you talk about any NIT with CS branch that means you just want to get into the NIT with CS branch then your rank should be 31 and 37,000 for general candidate and for EWS 6 and 8,000 for OBC 9 and 16,000 for SC 5.5 5 and 9,000 for ST 4 and 7,000 will be the expected cutoff for male and female. So next if you talk about any NIT with EC branch then so your general length should be 38 and 45,000 for uh, EWS it will be 7 and 12,000 for OBC 11 and 18,000 for SC 8 and 10,000 for ST 6 and 8,000. So next if you talk about the last option that is any NIT with any possible branch it means you just want to get into the NIT with any, po with any possible branch that you may get. So for general it will be 56 and 65,000 as I told you at the start of this video the, the cutoff for other than CS branches will go up according to the last year. You can expect up to 56 and 65,000 also you will get the seat in any possible NIT with any possible branches and I am taking the reference from second round itself because, because after first round must sprint have done the different type of decision making and that that is reflected in the second round so i am taking the reference from that and you can estimate you can expect this type of cutoff will go up to last round because i am talking with so many a student daily and i know what, what is the mindset of the student so almost 90 percent of the student are looking for the cs related branch but due to the uh, due to their rank they are not getting it but their first priority is cs uh, cs related branch either cse or ec so next if you talk about for OBC it will be 23 and 26,000 for SC 14 and 17,000 for ST 9 and 11,000. So this is all about this video here I have provided you the rank versus expected IIT up to the 6th round of JUSA counseling 2021. So hope you find this video very useful. So please try to subscribe this channel so that you will get the further videos also for GFTI and triple ITs as well. And for PWD I will provide you a separate video. And one more time I would like to inform you that if you need counseling guidance for CSEV round or you are confused with JUSA counseling whether I should go with this college or that college whether I should go with next round or not because you have got some college and now you are thinking that whether I should go for next round or not whether I will get good option or not so all those things I will discuss with you separately once you register with me so if you want counseling guidance you can contact me through Instagram or WhatsApp number available in the description box so thanks again for watching this video please try to subscribe